I started looking at female body image um, when I started working on my first book over 15 years ago um, about fast, fast forward about kids growing up in LA and I realized in the course of that that I had a special interest in girls and kind of their emotional and social development and that led me to girl culture which was really a much deeper exploration of how the body has become the primary expression of identity for girls and women. In this show um, it's a curated group show of which I'm a part and then I was brought in to direct the film Beauty Culture is a way to kind of take that to the next step in taking a step backwards and looking at how a lot of the things that I photographed are interconnected from the young girls and the kind of precocious sexualization of young girls to the vanity of teenagers and the kind of struggle to establish your identity as a teenager to women and older women facing the challenge of getting older in a youth-obsessed culture. So this project, Beauty Culture, allowed me to kind of bring the work full circle and look at all aspects. It's actually the other way in the sense that the, the show was curated by Cole Yohannan. And when he came to me and said, I'd like to use your work in the show, and we sat down together and talked about work, it was clear that so many of his themes in the show were themes and issues that I had covered in my work. He had one section called From Cradle to Grave, which was exactly this connection between the kids growing up quickly and the women staying young forever. So I took inspiration from the show, but there was a big overlap between my work. And then I tried to bring in into the film people who would make sense of it for us, like Nancy Etkoff, who's an evolutionary biologist from Harvard, who shows that who, who kind of takes an evolutionary point of view and shows that in this quest for beauty, what's driving a lot of it is our need to look like a fertile young woman for obvious evolutionary reasons. So the kids that I'd photographed growing up quickly, the women that I'd photographed trying to stay young, then that all made sense to me, not just because of the pressures of our contemporary culture, but also because of our evolutionary biology. Well, in my aging project, it's actually men too, but that work is not in the show because the show is about women. But I think that there's a deeper reason for that, which is that I'm a woman and my own experience and my own kind of research, first person research for my life has always been a big inspiration and kind of um, raison d'etre for a lot of the things that I've decided to document. So I started with growing up in LA and I had grown up in LA. Girl culture was a way for me to contemplate a lot of the things that I had thought about growing up and also as a woman. Um, when I did Thin, which was about eating disorders, I happened to work in a clinic that was only women. My new work um, is, is not about women, so I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not exclusively uh, a female photographer, but I do think that of course you use your own experience and that helps you have insight into the documentation you're doing and I have more experience as a woman. That said, I have two boys and I'm taking that process in and you know, they keep asking me when I'm going to do boy culture. So. I'm working on a project about wealth and the economic crisis and I'm doing a, a feature length film for 2012 that I have a grant from the Sundance Institute for. You know, I, I try to have balance. I usually say balance is overrated. I think that's true in my personal life too. But um, I love to work on my own projects and of course the passion projects, the independent films, the books none of those make money so I also um, balance it with commercial work but trying to do commercial work that is also meaningful. I just finished a Gatorade campaign where it was about sideline moms and kind of celebrating the moms behind the athletes with all real people. So I try to um, do work even in the commercial world that pushes me either creatively or conceptually and in the beauty culture film um, I actually was able to bring in a lot of what I've learned from directing commercials. Um, the DP was a commercial director, the editor was a commercial editor. So in a way it's kind of a hybrid kind of documentary. I don't know, I haven't gotten there yet. So.
<laughs> Greed is definitely on the agenda. <laughs> I don't really plan them, but they are very far ahead in the sense that I tend to work on things for a long time and often I don't know I'm working on it until I'm years into it. So for girl culture and even for beauty culture, I go back years and, and look at the work and then it starts to make sense to me. It really connected the dots between a lot of things that I've worked on before. So my aging work, which is actually was unpublished and just kind of sits in drawers in my house as a work in progress, I was able to really delve into and bring out for this project and start to see relationships between the work I had done on young girls and the work I had done on older women. So with the Wealth Project, I also am going back 20 years and, and pulling apart work and also creating new work. So I find that um, you know one project really leads to another and in a way um, like the filmmaker Jean Renoir said, it's all part of the same film. The advice I would have for the young photographer is the same advice I got from my teacher when I was in college, which is follow your heart. I've always, I always believe in the self-assigned project and supporting yourself in figuring out what your voice is. Once you have your voice, there's so many things you can do. But I think the dangerous thing for a young photographer is trying to fit in other people's box. Because as somebody told me a long time ago, there's already going to be somebody better than you at doing the thing that is not your thing. So it's really only like following your own path that you can reach some kind of excellence and, and, and try to create something that hasn't been created before. I'm so thrilled that Wallace Annenberg opened the space. It's a place that we have not had in Los Angeles, a place to celebrate photography, the medium of photography. I think photography is unique in being able to interface with the public and public being able to really ingest it, understand it, learn from it. I think young people are particularly adept at understanding this medium and so I'm thrilled that it's here. I'm thrilled that it's in such a central and fabulous location and I think it elevates our medium.